Have you purchased a new Vortex Pergola or are planning to buy one? In this video, you'll learn how to assemble the manual Vortex Pergola blinds to your shade piece. Hi, I'm Jake and this is Jamie. And in this video, we'll show you how to assemble your manual Vortex Pergola blinds. This particular model we're using here is the 4600 model. If you're wanting blinds on the four meter side of this, you'll obviously just use a four meter blind. But if you're wanting blinds on one of the six meter sides, each side will need two three meter blinds. Before we get started, there are a few quick important points. First of all, make sure to wear a safety hat, protective glasses and enclosed shoes. We also recommend having two people for this install, which is why we've got Jamie along. Please ensure children are well clear when installing the blinds. Also, if installing one of the blinds on one of the sides with the motor, take extra care as there are cables present. Okay, tools required. We have a tape measure and pencil for marking the holes where we're gonna be drilling. We then have a three mil drill bit for drilling through metal. We have a standard Phillips head drill piece, our drill, and then it's also handy if you have a ladder. In the box, you should have your main pergola blind beam, two posts, and your stainless steel screws. Um, just a quick point to note, with the posts, there will be a top and bottom. The bottom side will have this plastic cap for sitting on the ground. The top side is the part that slots into the pergola blind beam. Okay, we've laid all, out all the parts as is. Just when you're laying down the pergola blind beam, make sure that the curtain slider is on the bottom side. We've then got one of our posts with the slide on the bottom as well. This should simply slide in here. And yep. Okay, now that we've got all that set together, we are putting the blind up in this wall here. All you have to do is hold the blind together and lift up. Okay, now that we've got it sitting here, we want to line this blind up flush with the outside part of the pergola here. Just before we get started on measuring out where we're gonna drill the holes, it's important to note that you should always have this either clamped to the post or have someone holding it just to be safe. To make sure the post is level, we're gonna take a couple quick measurements and make sure it's the same all the way down. So we'll start at the top obviously, which we know is flush. And we're bang on 50 mil there. So we'll then go to the bottom, push that out to 50 mil and we'll just make a quick pencil mark just in case that moves. And then just to double check that's still all flush. Then to be safe, we'll check the middle and it's all bang on. Once we've done that on one side, we'll obviously then go repeat the steps on the other side. Okay, now that we have the beams all sitting flush in the pergola, we're gonna pre-drill all of the holes. So we're gonna do three on each side, one at the top, middle, and bottom. Alrighty, now that we've pre-drilled all the holes, we're gonna put the screws in. And that is how to install a Vortex Pergola blind. Thanks for watching this video. You should now be able to attach your Vortex Pergola blinds and have the options between sun, shade, and privacy. Are you wondering how to assemble a Vortex Pergola? Watch the video to learn how to assemble any of the three in our range. For more information, visit the Learning Centre on our website or contact one of our showrooms and talk to one of our friendly team members.